Hi everyone. Here we go. Another week. Um, another day, another dollar. You all right? No. Uh, that's how it feels. Okay, we're getting into muscles. Okay, people, um, time is ticking away. Um, basically, uh, just a little fair warning. Uh, we have this week, it's muscles. Next week uh, is digestive system. And next week on Thursday, I'm gonna open up our second test. So you need to be studying, you need to be studying on a regular basis. Just like before, really focus on the homework and really focus on the uh, chapter reviews. I think the, the study and reviews for the chapters, I think those are really helpful. So focus on that. So next week on Thursday, we'll open up our second test. And our second test is gonna be on the integumentary. So chapter five, integumentary. Chapter six, skeletal. Chapter seven, muscular, which we're doing this week. And then chapter eight, digestive. So it's going to be on five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so study, study on a regular basis. Just like always, practice, practice, practice. Practice will help you do well, okay? All right, let's get into muscles. Uh, muscles, my favorite, truly, they are my favorite. Um, so muscular system, the things we're going to focus on, right? What is the muscular system? There are three basic types of muscle tissue and the functions of muscle tissue. So again, this is just an overview and we're focusing on the vocabulary. If you took an anatomy class, we're going to muscles a lot deeper. If you took a physiology class, we get into the functions of muscles a lot deeper. So this is a really brief overview with some terminology, with some pathology. Um, yeah, so terminology and I analyze, build, spell, pronounce medical words, and some drugs highlighted in the chapter. Some lab tests, uh, some abbreviations, okay? So what about it? It Muscular system, composed of all muscles in the body, okay? Muscles. So if you think of muscle, think of movement, yes? Truly, it's about movement, yeah? That's the major function. So it says provide mechanism of movement of the body, Posture stability, you would not be able to stand up straight. You would not be able to sit up straight if you didn't have your muscles. And muscles produce heat. Think about um, if you go for a morning jog and it's cold outside. So maybe at first you have your jacket on. Um, once you start running, you start generating heat and more than likely you're gonna get hot and you're gonna take your jacket off. Yes, um, so they do those three primary functions. So movement, posture, stability, and heat, okay, heat. Um, think about if you're ever outside and it's really cold, you start to shiver, right? That creates heat. So when you step off on the scale, 40 42% of your body, about 42% is um, made out of muscle. So muscle is a lot of tissue in your body. Um, they're made out of long, slender cells known as fibers. Um, it really helps. This In this uh, chapter, it really helps to look at pictures, okay? So the word muscle cell is the same as muscle fiber. And that can be really confusing, but just remember that. Muscle cell is muscle fiber, okay? And then muscles are generally in groups, and they work together in groups, so it says each muscle consists of a group of fibers held together by connective tissue enclosed in a fibrous sheet or fascia. So, uh, okay, so a picture, again, is worth a thousand words. If we look at muscle, there are three types of muscle. One is skeletal. So the one you're really familiar with is skeletal muscle. So here, these, these are your biceps, right? Biceps, triceps. You have your uh, flexors, extensors, right? So helping move, all right? So a muscle is in a bundle, okay? So here is a bundle of muscles, okay? And then there are these little bundles inside, right? And then one long thing right here, that's a muscle cell. Again, it's also known as a muscle fiber, okay? And then there's connective tissue holding it all together. And then here we have tendons that hold the skeletal muscle to bone. Okay, so one category of muscle is skeletal muscle. What's another category? Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, heart, cardiac. Cardiac muscle is another category, and cardiac is just cardiac, just in the heart. And then the third one is not obvious. It's called smooth muscle. Now, smooth is around hollow organs. So for example, your stomach, does your stomach have muscle? Yes, yes it does, right? And so th that's smooth muscle. Your bladder has muscle. If you're a woman, your uterus has muscle. Um, blood vessels, they can constrict or dilate. There's smooth muscle in there. So the three categories of muscle, skeletal, that's the one that we're all familiar with, cardiac, that's um, heart, and then smooth, okay? So I'm gonna go back, right? So muscles cause movement, help posture, heat, and then they get into the three types of muscles. So skeletal, okay, smooth. It says produce relatively slow contraction with greater degree of extensibility. Digestion, so around your intestines or smooth muscle, uh, respiratory, urinary tract, Again, with women, when we talk about the uterus and we talk about contractions of the uterus, we're, it's, it's slow, sustained contraction. Yeah. Cardiac, only one place in the heart. And then tendons are connective tissue that bind muscle to bone. So when we're talking about skeletal muscle. So again, picture worth a thousand words. Um, here, um, here is a picture of the three types of muscle again. So, um, skeletal, and this is what they would look like under the microscope. Cardiac, cardiac looks like skeletal, but there's some differences. You have these, they're called intercalated discs. Um, and, and the heart, when you think of the heart, it has to squeeze and pump together. Yeah. Here's smooth along hollow organs. And again, regardless of the type of muscle, the cells are long, yeah? Long, cylindrical, and even the smooth muscle, they're, they're kind of like spindle uh, shaped. All right, so going back, it says each fiber within muscle receives its own ner nerve impulses. So muscle is gonna be controlled by the nervous system. So right now, if I tell you clench your fist, okay, it's your brain that's generating nerve impulses, sending it to your muscles to contract, okay? So nerves control the muscles, okay? Um, it says blood, lymphatic vessels, muscle tissue supply nutrition. Okay, yes, of course, blood, lymph. Um, blood's going to supply nutrients to muscle, absolutely. As we get older, yeah, what happens to our muscle? It kind of deteriorates a little bit gets smaller, we get weaker, that's real. That's a real thing. So that's why exercise is so important, right? Exercise increases your blood circulation. Also exercise um, helps maintain muscle and keeping muscle so we don't get weak, okay? So it says, as a person grows older, the number and size of muscle fibers, remember that word fiber means cell, diminish. The water content of tendons is reduced. So you know, we get all like stiff and we gotta stretch. Oh, I hate saying that, but it's true. And, you know, I remember being a kid and people stretched before exercise. You're like, why are they stretching? Bah. <laughs> As you get older, you understand you have to stretch. It's important. It helps bring fluid to those tendons. And it's so important because you, if you just go out and start running, you increase your risk of tearing something. Um, again, when you're a kid, it's not as you know, it's easier, you're all lubricated and all of that. But as you get older, it gets a little harder. So that's why stretching, proper stretching, pre and post workout is so important. Decrease in hand grip strength can, can make performing routine activities such as opening a jar or turning a key more difficult as we get older, okay? So types of muscle, they talk about it. Okay, that's what I did already. Again, picture worth a thousand words, you can see the types of muscle. Skeletal muscle, um, they're considered voluntary. It's under voluntary control. So for example, if I told you to clench your hand, you could do it. If I told you to raise your hand, 
you could do it. But if I told you speed up your heart rate, you can't do that. Or so you kind of can with meditation, but you can't consciously do it like skeletal. So skeletal is called, it's under voluntary control. So it's under conscious control versus cardiac is involuntary and smooth is definitely involuntary because you can't consciously, you know, make your stomach contract or make your bladder contract, right? You're like, yes, I can, Miss Collins. No, you can't. Um, in regards to urinating, for example, it's skeletal muscles that are sphincter muscles around um, that you relax to help urinate or even defecate. I know you're like, oh, Miss Collins, too much information, but that's the truth, okay? So the bladder itself has smooth muscle, but then right at the base of the bladder, it's skeletal muscle that helps con with um, urination, let's say. So controlled by conscious part of the brain, we're talking about skeletal muscle, right? A voluntary muscle attached to the bones, has a cross striped appearance, striated. So this picture, it's hard to see it here, but there's like light and dark bands. If you were in anatomy and if you were looking at them, you would see them. Has, okay, various size and shape arrangement of fibers. Absolutely. So this is an important picture. Look at it. You do need to know some of the muscles, okay? So I can ask you some questions about these. So look in your book. Let me look at what page it is. This is page 73. So here in the back. So how do muscles get their name, okay? So skeletal, for example. A lot of them get their name based on their shape, okay? Shape or size or action okay so for example gluteus maximus gluteal region right gluteal maximus means big so we have gluteus maximus we have gluteus medius we have gluteus minimus okay trapezius so over here number one is trape i don't know why they labeled it on this side okay number one is trapezius but really there's the anterior side. Here's the posterior. So this is the trapezius. And if you look at it, it looks like a trapezoid. So that's where it gets its name, trapezius. Deltoid, delta, that's like a triangle. Um, if you looked at it from the side or the lateral view, you could see that. Pectoralis, pectoralis, we're talking about the chest region. There's a pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Here's the biceps. Now here, this is called the rectus femoris. If you think about it, femur is the bone, right? The thigh bone, rectus. Rectus means that the fibers, the fibers or the muscle cells are going straight up and down. Here, oh gosh, these are really cool muscles. The lats or the latissimus dorsi muscles um, with swimmers. Swimmers have really defined latissimus dorsi muscles because the action, right, of um, swimming. So they get really defined here. Now these are called biceps. Bi means two because the muscle has two heads. Okay, that's where it gets its name. On the back side, these are triceps. Tri means three. There are three heads to that muscle. Gluteal, gluteus maximus. Now here in the back, um, so in the front, they're, the, collectively they're called quadriceps. In the back, collectively, they're called um, hamstrings. Um, so here, this is called the biceps femoris. Okay, again, bi because two heads, femur, femur. Here, this one does not make much sense, but this one's called the gastrocnemius. Gastroc, what are we talking about? We're talking about the stomach, belly, yeah, because it gets its name from there. And 11 here, that's the Achilles tendon. Ah, okay, Achilles tendon. So pay attention, yes? Some of these major muscles, like the deltoid, the gluteal muscles, uh, that's where they give injections, right? So you do need to know those landmarks. So here uh, gives you some of the major skeletal muscles, sternocleidomastoid. Again, the name means something. The name is telling you where the muscle is found. Sterno, sternum, right? The breastbone. Clido, we're talking about the clavicle. And the mastoid, there's the mastoid process. Um, trapezius, deltoid, rectus femoris, sartorius. We didn't go through the sartorius. It's on the front. Tibialis anterior. Again, that's telling you something in, in front of the tibia, right? Pectoralis major, biceps brachii, external oblique. Oblique means that the fibers are going at an angle, 
Okay, and erectus abdominis, again, rectus, the fibers going straight up and down. Ab abdominis, it's in the abdomen, and then gastrocnemius, and then some more muscles, soleus, triceps, latissimus, dorsi, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, Achilles tendon. The biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, those are the back of the thigh, and I have to stop here, and I'll continue in a little bit.